So far we just have a bare bones project. We need to start bringing it to life. In setting the stage, we create a space background and we put some planet object types on top of that background. We also are going to set that level up and its layers to resemble what we want. Make sure you're referring to your step-by-step -step project guide. I'm going to choose the level one layout and I've got a couple property changes to make. I'm going to change it to unbounded scroll and I'm going to set the size of my layout. This is very important. It's going to be 800 pixels wide by 4,800 pixels tall. That's going to give us that vertical look. As you can see with the dashed lines, that's the size of our window. So this is a perfect layout for a vertical space shooter type game. Leaving our margin as it is, make sure that the level one layout is selected and go to the layers bar. We're going to rename the default layer to background with a capital B. Remember, layouts consist of multiple layers. In the properties bar, we're going to change the background color property to black, a custom red zero, green zero, and blue zero. This will make our background layer black. We're going to be placing object types on this layer. First, we need to go to the view tab. Make sure that our grid is enabled and shown. I'm going to keep mine at the 32 pixel by 32 pixel dimension. Remember, you can control plus or control minus in this layout view to get a better look of your layout. Once again, there are my settings for my grid. It's very useful. Let's create our first object type. Go to the projects bar and right click insert new object type. We're going to be creating a space tiled background. So choose tiled background, and then the name when inserted should be space, capital S. Click when the crosshair appears, and then choose the folder to navigate to the space background image in the assets directory. Click the red X, and you should see your tiled space background. We're going to use the properties bar to position it. We're going to position it to X coordinate negative 112, and Y coordinate negative 512. Then we're going to size it using properties as well. We could drag on the handles or we can just use properties. Go to size under common, give it a width of 1024 pixels and a height of 5760 pixels. When you control minus you'll see that we have spread the entire layout with a space background. It's really important that you follow the instructions in the step-by-step -step project guide closely. And when you create your object types, make sure you create them as the right type. Our space background, for example, is a tiled background. The planets we're about to make are what are called sprites. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to add three planets. Go back and right click insert new object. And we are going to create a sprite. And we're going to call it planet blue and insert. When the crosshair appears, click go to the folder where we're going to find our blue planet. Planet blue and open it up. We are going to change its origin point, its center of rotation to 70, 71. Remember, there are no half pixels. Click red X and we've created our blue planet. Follow the same process to create a yellow and a red planet. Insert new object. Choose Sprite. Name it logically. Planet Yellow. Click on the background. Navigate to the Assets folder. Set the origin point to be the true center of the object. In this case, 55, 55. One more. Insert new object, make sure it's a sprite, call it planet red. When the crosshair appears, click on the background, go to the folder, find the red planet. Make sure you set the origin point to the true center, 50, 50. Click the red X. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and duplicate these planets. We can control C, control V, we can control drag release, control drag release, and create instances of these planet object types all throughout the layout. Control drag release, or control C, control V. 
When you create new individual planets, those are called instances. Instances of that object type. With our planets in place, it's time to deal with the vertical stacking. Go to the View tab and choose the Z order bar. Place that somewhere on your interface. Remember, the Z order controls the vertical stacking, which instances are above or below one another. Pull the space instance all the way to the top. It'll make the planets look like they've been muted. Go to the layers and lock the background layer since we're done with it. We're gonna go ahead and run our layout. Once again, there's a lot of ways to do this. You can use the quick access toolbar. You can go to the home menu and choose run layout. Right now our game is pretty boring. There's not a lot of action, but we do have a background. Don't forget to save your work.